appraisals in today's video. So one of the things we want to be, you know, we were thinking about is primary and secondary appraisals. Primary appraisals is when we look at a situation and say, is this relevant to me? What's going to happen? You know, is this going to threaten me? Is there some sort of loss um, expected? Is this going to be a challenge? Is Are there going to be opportunities for growth? And what we see is, is that here is this uh, event, seeing the tiger, and we either perceive it as relevant and threatening or irrelevant and harmless. So if I'm walking down the street and I see a, a tiger who's growling at me, I'm going to see it as relevant and threatening. If it's behind bars in a zoo, I'm going to probably see it as irrelevant and, and harmless. In the latter case, I'm not going to experience stress. In the former case, it'll depend on what I can do in that situation. So in secondary appraisal, we are appraising our ability to handle the stressor. What options are available? What resources do I have? What skills do I have? Do I believe I can handle this? Do I believe that there's going to be a positive outcome here? Um, and if I'm seeing this tiger and I believe that I have the skills to handle it, then in my secondary appraisal um, process, I'm going to say, this is adequate, you know, no stress. That's not me. Um, if I see a tiger, I'm going to, to believe that I can't do anything about it. I'm going to likely feel overwhelmed and, and experience stress and do everything I can to get away from this tiger. Now, let's think about this in terms of what appraisals we might have uh, in response to 9-11 um, and how these might change across time and how they might be different for different people. So when people woke up on September 11th, 2001, it was a lovely clear day. And probably most people uh, said something like, this is gonna be a wonderful day, no worries, you know, yay. At 8.46, Flight 11 crashed into the north face of the of the North Tower um, and most people at that point believed that this was an accident, you know, a disoriented small, py small pilot um, and so this was bad, not a terrible thing. 9.03 Flight 175 crashed into the south face of the of the South Tower. At that point, we were already believing that these were airlines rather than small uh, small flights. And with two of them, one hitting both towers, people were now saying this is probably a terrorist attack. You know, this is war. At 9.37, Flight 77 crashed into the Pentagon. At 9.59, the South Tower collapsed. And at 10.03, uh, Flight 93 crashed outside of Shanksville, Pennsylvania. And then later that hour, the North Tower collapsed. So first off, you can see a number of different excuse me, a number of different primary appraisals that, that at seven o'clock, you're going to, to look at the situation and say, this is irrelevant, harmless. Um, at 846, you might look at it and say, okay, so 
this, you know, is relevant, probably not a big deal. By 903, that primary appraisal shifted, right? And certainly, as the towers began collapsing, and as we're seeing uh, crashes at other sites, that shifted the way that we, we perceived the situation. Now, let's think about secondary appraisal. People varied in terms of how they perceived that situation. Some people, uh, even after it was clear that this was a terrorist attack, believed themselves having the skills to get down out of the terror or tower to do something about this. Maybe even to go up into the tower to try and rescue other people because they perceived themselves as having skills to do that. Other people, because of health issues, perhaps obesity, um, perhaps where they were in the building. So maybe, you know, for in particular, those people who were above the crash site, um, they were much more likely to perceive this as problem, you know, as problematic and that they didn't have the skills to be able to handle it. Um, and some people just sat down or, you know, looked to see what they could find and didn't believe that, that there was anything else that they could do. Excuse me, here's the North Tower falling. Um, so when we're thinking about stressors, we're thinking, here is this uh, potentially a uh, stressful objective event, you know, it, it could be 9-11, it could be an exam, it could be a date. Our appraisal of this and our appraisal of our skills is going to make a significant difference in how we, how we respond. Um, also, our physiological response here is going to make a big difference. There are other kinds of things that, that also influence this. Our social support, our hardiness, our optimism, sensation uh, seeking, and how reactive our system is. What kinds of coping strategies do we use? You know, are we there yelling at other people to get out of our, out of our way? And also what kinds of responses are we making? You know, do we expect and do we find certain kinds of, of outcomes in this situation? Now, as we're going to talk in the next video, stress impacts our ability to think and respond. We think best when we are calm in general. We think best when we are calm and, you know, in a particular situation. We're able to weigh out the options. We're able to think about what else might happen. Um, as we become more aware in that situation and aware of what's going on, we may become more emotional, more reactive, more reflexive. Our functional IQ drops, our response changes. And this is going to really impact our ability to handle that stressor well. We'll talk about this more in the next video. And take care. Bye-bye.